the voters of California were interested in stem cell research, not in an abstract way, but a very material, practical way. And so the California Institute for Regenerative Medicine had the prescient notion that we needed regenerative medicine clinics, and that's why they call them alpha, because they're the first of their kind. Stem cells hold terrific promise. This could be a revolutionary change. Stem cells, which we have in early development, may be involved in developing new organs or tissues. That's some of the promise of stem cell therapy. There are so many different avenues, um, different departments that go into just one clinical trial, and when it's stem cells, it becomes even more complicated. So we have the regulatory side, we have the clinical side, the research side. You have a process that basically helps to streamline the, the journey for the patients. So it's not just surgeons like myself, it's not just lab scientists, uh, it's not just administrative people, regulatory people, it's the whole consortium in the truest sense of the word. What we're trying to do is change the way we do medicine so it's far more interactive, more dynamic, and uh, we put people who have the disease in the driver's seat. Clinical trials involves a very important skill set. You have to first and foremost put the patient first in any clinical trial. I think we cannot ignore the fact that these are human beings that are brave souls that have gone forward because these are the heroes that are going out there and forging new territory. They're paying it forward. They're, they're allowing us to get really critical information that will help all of the people who come after them. It doesn't matter what phase of the research trial it is, whether it's phase one to phase four, any phase is crucial. And until we can get through these different phases, I'm, I'm willing to be a part of anything I can do to help. Now patients are part of their own solution and they're not only demanding that we do a better job of diagnosis, prognosis and having more effective therapies, but they're actually helping with the research. There really isn't a higher level of quality of, of science. You know, this is just such cutting edge work that can have huge implications for any number of diseases. The mission of CIRM is to bring therapies with stem cells to human patients as rapidly as possible. And the Alpha Clinics are a very important piece of that mission. At the moment, we're targeting three areas. One, neurodegenerative disorders and spinal cord injury. Two, diabetes. Three, cancer. We're not in the position of having a clinical trial where we want everybody to be on the same trial. What we are in the position of is personalizing therapy. So we'll say, maybe it's too early for a cellular replacement therapy. Maybe it will suffice to give them a pharmaceutical kind of agent that will prevent degeneration. Maybe we can do combination studies. So I think we're fairly open-minded about the approach. The Alpha Clinic has provided us the ability to refine this technique and to actually demonstrate its efficacy. If it wasn't for the Alpha Clinic, we'd have technology, but we wouldn't have the ability to validate it and translate it to patients. And probably by not labeling it as a disease-oriented clinic, people can come in at any stage. They could be at a very, very early stage of their disease, and that's fine. They don't feel like they have to be labeled. We're just there to help individuals achieve what they need to achieve daily and be like the rest of us.